Hello and welcome, and I can tell you it was a dry walk to the gantry today, no rain in sight. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from MLS. It's Real Salt Lake, and they take on Charlotte FC. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's a flat 4 5 1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. And this confrontation is underway. Damir Krylach. Here's Ruiz. And here's Oviedo. Silva. Brian Oviedo. Ruiz. Well, something that really needs to be tightened up for the hosts is the defensive situation. Look at the statistics. It's the worst defence in the league, Stuart. Well, defending has to start from the front. And this season, the forwards haven't put enough pressure on their opponent. That's why it's so difficult for the rest of the team to make good defensive decisions. It's been really poor from the front players. to Aloma Jozviak promising sequence defensive resilience to shut them down Damir Krylach oh, couldn't quite find his teammate Jozviak. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And a creative look about this. Can they convert? And there it is! The breakthrough! That will do nicely! Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Real 1-0 then. Goal. Number seven, Pablo Ruiz. Westwood. Westwood. 
That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Damir Krylach. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Derek Jones. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. No card, but the referee clearly stating that's the last warning. Has eyes for goal! Not the worst free kick in the world, but the goalkeeper equal to it. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Flag up, tight offside. Giving the ball away. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Shinyashiki. Really good block. And now the delivery. Well, it still could be dangerous. What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. An example of how to press. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Damir Krylach. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. So the half-time whistle is sounded, and it's so far so good for the hosts. Well, we were concerned about their defence before the game, but today they've looked a solid outfit. They've defended as a unit, they've been compact, and they've counter-attacked at the right time. This has been a very good display. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. That strong play as he keeps the ball in anticipation of support arriving. He's protecting it well. No possibilities inside the box. And you need your defender to take charge. Can they hit on the break? Jorge Viak. Could play it in. Very quick thinking there. 
And they will make the chair. And he's fired over the corner. Not the best clearance. And in the end, no damage done. Damir Krylach. It looks promising. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. 30 minutes to go then. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But really sticking to their task defensively. Ruiz. Jefferson Savarino. Well, making high pressing work for them here. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, they've decided to make a change. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they take advantage of the situation? Preferring to go infield. And behind it's gone for a corner. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Well, they fancy a short one. And a good-looking ball. Ojeda. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. Could be! He scored once already and close to making it a double. Well, every time he gets on the ball, he looks a real danger today. Now sending it in. It hasn't come to very much. Are getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, a textbook interception. Jefferson Savarino breaking at pace they need to get bodies back Savarino he read the situation defensively and did his job must score and a goal they lead by two now and that allows them to breathe a bit more easily well here we can see it again and it's all about the pace of the passing one touch slick movement and then what a finish that's been hit with such power and pace the keeper has no time to react it's a brilliant strike So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Good-looking sequence. He's in behind. 
And there it is! All in the melting pot now. And what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. And there it is, the final whistle, and the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory.